What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. Last episode, we did the freaking gun. <laughs> the really frustrating archery horseback minigame thing. And oh boy, did I have a fun time with that. Just kidding, I hit it. <laughs> okay, so we're actually going to be doing this episode. Let's take it on the mini dungeon that's in Gerudo Valley. I wonder what that could be about. Uh, well, actually, first off, though, I'm gonna get two skull shells that I forgot about, and I, I'm shocked I have not gotten these yet, actually. It's a bit weird, quite frankly. Uh, yay! There's the first one! Looking at my notes and counting out for a while, I was like, oh crap, I would have no idea where three of the skull shells on my list are. Or it's like, or actually, that's not true. I couldn't account for three skull shells for some reason. I could not figure out what they were. Well, it turns out two of them are here, around here somewhere. Ugh. I kill you with my stabby stab. Yeah. Let me get, get dang it. I mean, I was used, one of the reasons I actually used the side graphics, or how I like, thought to do that, was, hey! This way, I'll be able to keep track of what skull shells I've gotten and which ones I haven't. Well... I mean, that's clearly not working. It, it sucks when I don't really save things properly sometimes. <laughs> and that causes me to not get them. Uh, I'm not really sure where this last one is, actually. I know it's here somewhere. Holy crap! Is it not over here? No Jeru down here anymore, which is probably kind of good. I mean, she was still down here. That'd be a bit weird being down here for like seven years. What's this gonna take me? <gasps> Don't jump off, please. Hello? We're we going through the waterfall? Hey, we got more rupees back. I don't really need, but you know. Oh, that shows me where that is. Okay, I'm not hearing a Skullchilmata. I'm not seeing a Skullchilmata. I'm just waiting for. What? It doesn't take me back up? What's the point? Are you serious? Okay, I'm done here. I'll meet you guys back. <sighs> Goodbye, my Octorok. Goodbye, my rock. Oh my god, that's why it's called an Octorok, because he shoots rock and he's an octopus. Oh my believes this. Okay, I'm back. Uh. Uh. Where is this last sculpture? Oh, oh, there it is! I couldn't hear, like, at all, so, like, it can't be nearby. It said something about a rock arch in my notes. A rock arch by the Carmen's tent. I'm like, I feel like that's one of the things, like, when I was making notes for this game, I was like, I have no idea what I'm writing down, but hopefully future Chris will understand it, and future Chris didn't understand it. Although, I guess it does make sense, since, you know, there's a rock arch right here. But it's like, I did not hear a sculpture, and I, I mean, that was really close to me, so, so I was like, well, if there was a sculpture on there, I would hear it, wouldn't I? I don't freaking know. Anyways, let's go tackle what we were, came to do on this episode. You know what, let's stop there. Get off. Get off! Stupid Epona! I'm just kidding, I love you, Epona. I'm gonna slap her with my sword. <laughs> okay, let's decide it. Judo Train Grounds. Only registered members are allowed. Hey, I'm a met registered member. I'm a registered member. This is Judo. Wait, what would Ronald McDonald sound like? This is Judo's training ground. That's that's just Naruto. <laughs> Membership card verified. What? I don't. I don't. I can't. Ronald McDonald has like a normal guy voice. He has like the most stereotypical normal guy voice ever. All right, I'll take your ten rupees. Give it your best shot. What? That's like those clap on, clap off lights. I want in on this. <laughs> Gerudo Training Ground. Okay, this is another one of those things that's like, I have no clue what's in here. I don't know what to expect. Hey, 50 arrows. I only had like 4 ar arrows in the last episode. Where did I get all these arrows? Apparently you need 7 keys, I believe it is. If you can overcome the trials and the chambers ahead, then and only then will you be qualified to hold a secret treasure. Ooh, I like secret treasure. Ooh, there's 2 chests. One of them a trap. One of them's totally gonna be a trap. Ooh, it's arrows! Yay, that's totally a hint to shoot that thing up there. 
Okay, so yeah, once again, I don't really know what I'm doing. Which, I mean, do I ever really know what I'm doing? Not really. It's kind of an issue. I should pro- Ooh. What do you want, Navi? Uh... It's not- It's probably gonna be- I don't know. Let's see if that does anything. It's gonna probably just summon a- Um... A... Uh, a fairy. A big fairy. Whoa! Link's face was weird there. What are you doing, Navi? Okay, well, we're just gonna leave that for now. Let's start by going right into the Lion's Mouth. And by the way, that is a really cool door. I like that a lot. Defeat all the enemies in a limited time. Oh no, however, will I do such a thing? I will do it to my killing things in like two hits. Holy crap, that was easy. That was pathetic. Lizalfos, you should feel ashamed of yourself. I don't even care. I, you, sure, you just, okay, fine. <laughs> I don't look- Now you're starting to piss me off, little foes! You butthead! Okay, now let's deal with this asshole. Uh, I guess we don't need the Megaton Hammer. I wonder if Megaton Hammer could kill it. I kind of feel like it might be able to. Get out! You need to leave! You have overstayed your welcome! Wow, I killed them in less than 30 seconds. If you made a time limit 30 seconds, that would be more interesting. Although, I guess that would have been a lot more difficult if it was a, um... You know... Oh! Holy crap, if they're... Can I get up there? Oh boy, I almost walked in the fire again. Now, that would have been a lot more difficult if I didn't have the big Goron sword. The big dick sword, you know. Oh man, I am just gonna use up all my hearts. I'm trying to get these hearts. There's two hearts. There we go, I can beat the fire. That was challenging. All right, let's go through the door. Yay! Their training ground crosses a sea of fire. Their training ground consists of all like lava. Like holy crap, that's really extensive, man. I have to commend them. What did that do? <laughs> oh boy, that was kind of a reckless jump. Uh, oh, I know what to do here. It's like, well, crap. Now what? But let's face it, that's pretty obvious. That's pretty obvious. Ooh, oh, I, you know what? Block a tie. I do not remember the song. I don't even know why I pulled out my ocarina. <laughs> right A down. Right A down, right A down. It's usually any song with an A in it, it's like I immediately forget what it is. It's like there's no point in even trying it. Because I am going to fail. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to do that next time and do a Zelda game with songs in it. I'll have to, like, um... Oh, is this a key on the grounds? That's interesting. One of the few times in the game you see that. That being the Shadow Temple. Let's just reload. I don't I don't really think I want to go in there, actually. Um, yeah, the other, only time I remember is in the Shadow Temple, right? Might be future... Oh, good lord, please don't fall in the lava. These tiny platforms suck. Oh, that's what that switch does. A... Eh? <gasps> Holy crap, I should be dead! <laughs> Alright. Hit the switch. Hit the switch! Alright, get it quick! <laughs> get it quick! I did it! Hey, those give you five poopies? How many more are there? Is that not the last one? <gasps> Well, that's very unfortunate, is it? Oh, the last one's up there. Oh, that sucks. Well, I mean, at least it remember. Well, remem at least it remembers I played the song a time, right? Right. Hey. Well, that's definitely a plus, you know. Huh? Stupid camera! Cooperate! Uh, I'm collecting orange rupees. I don't know why I thought they were orange for. Oh yeah, sorry, what I was trying to say before is, I next time I do a Zelda game with songs, I'll probably have to like, write them down. Because, I mean, this is pretty silly that I keep having to resort to looking on the screen, and that's a waste of everyone's time. And I could, I feel like if I was watching, like, someone let's play this game, I would be very frustrated with watching that. Watching them have to look at the screen every time they need to play a freaking song. Okay, I was able to make it, oh good lord, I was able to make it there last time by taking my time. Dude, what the hell? Dude! Stupid camera! Ah! All right, I may have screwed myself. Oh, I did. Oh no, I did! Oh, holy crap! Okay. 
Oh, okay, that's... Uh, eh. Can I reach that from here? I can indeed. Now, the real question is... Does that stay permanent? I don't know. I kind of want to go that way, but... Let's go this way. I wonder if I have enough hearts for this? Please. Are they back? They're not back. Thank the Lord. Holy crap. That would have sucked. I would have had to cut. <laughs> There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Collect the underwater gems. How do I get underwater? It's impossible. The underwater gems. Hey, uh. Right A down. Oops. Right A down. Right A down. Yay! I remembered it after playing the first time. Holy poop. It's the song of time. What? One stays? Why does one stays? Why is my camera all messy again? Like, oh, I guess maybe because I was standing on it. Well, that is messing with my OCD really badly, but we're going to ignore it. Uh, actually, should we um, do, do the thing, you know, put on the Zora's tunic? Do the thing. Do the do. No. Get the iron boots on. There we go. Go from the butter shoes to the something shoes. I, I, I don't know. Fishies! Oh no, it's easy. Ah! Come on. Come on, you booger head. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, I could use those maybe if I'm not already full on them. <laughs> I mean, I do have a biggest quiver now, not to brag or anything. Uh, what? Why would I lock onto that one? Well, actually, probably because I was facing it, but still. Watch out, dude! It's dumb how you, uh, you have to press the button once to take out your hookshot and again to use it. It's like, if I'm pressing the button, does the game think I want to use it, especially when I'm locked onto something? No! No! Stop waving your butt at me! Stop waving your butt at me! Okay, he stopped waving his butt at me. Why do all these guys drop arrows? Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Yeah, yeah! Holy crap, there's a current in here! I did not realize, but now I know. Oh, it's this, it's this freaking spinning blade. It's meant to be like a blender. That's funny. That's so silly. That's so raven. Ha ha ha. Reference to show people watch. Ha ha ha. No. That sucks. Uh, huh. I was off by a lot. Holy crap. I hate how you can't actually swim in this game. It's really frustrating. <laughs> Uh, I've used the Skyward Sword, even Twilight Princess. What? Yes, I got it. Ha! Now to figure out how to get the other ones. Eh. I mean, I guess I could hook shot to a lot of them, right? All right. Now take that off and take that off. Was that gonna work? Eh. No, apparently not. Ha! Ah. Eh. Holy crap! I can't stay aloof! I can't stay aloof! Come on, swimming freaks! Three for it! There we go! Uh, where's the last one? Right over here somewhere. Alright, now. No! Stop flying forward! Oh! Did I get it? Oh, I did get it! Okay. I was like, wait, is that the last one? That better be. <laughs> uh, alright. Let's go. I don't actually know if there's a map in this place. I mean, you guys will be able to see just by looking at the screen, but I do not really recall. Wait. We could actually find that out, probably. Oh, see, it just displays the world map, which probably makes me believe that there's probably not a map in here. Which is weird, so I actually probably shouldn't even count this as a real dungeon. But it's too late, I'm totally counting it, so get over it. Because it totally is a dungeon, you buttheads. It's a small key. Three small keys. That's three too many. <laughs> well, not really. We're gonna need a lot more guys, don't worry. Ah, make that, please! Ah, make that, please! Ah! Okay, I was totally making all those jumps based on faith, and it totally didn't let me down. I really wanna see what's through here. Holy poop. If you desire to acquire a hidden treasure, you must strive to obtain the keys hidden in each chamber. Now, I probably should have taken a look. Bomb choose! You can climb these? Interesting. 
I don't know if that plays a part. Uh, anyways, this is gi a giant room filled with locked doors, and so this is where you use up all your keys. Uh, I don't actually recall if there's a way to screw yourself in doing this. I don't know if there is. Like, if I use my keys on the wrong doors, is it possible for me to mess this up and never get the treasure? I feel like that's not really plausible, but I guess it's possible, right? I don't really know. At least we know which way to go to get to the big key room. It's kind of unfortunate that we don't have a map. That's actually really unfortunate. I wish we did. Yeah. Dude, are you kidding me? Grab all the ledge leg! I just need you! Uh, I think we can make... No, we probably can't. Let's just go this way. Yeah, we can barely make that. Yeah. Wish the hover boots were more useful. I mean, they seriously only get you a tiny bit farther than you would just jumping, jumping for a ledge. Eh, there we go. I don't know. This has been Thoughts with Chris. Yeah. Oh my good lord, find a secret passage in this room. Oh, I'm actually pretty low in health. That is really unfortunate, actually. Uh, well, first off, let's put on the lens of truth. Yes, and then I'm gonna take off my butter shoes. Um... Man, I probably shouldn't have wasted all that time. Oh, this, this isn't even a secret passage. This is more like just use Megaton Hammer on everything. No! I was trying to do that, actually, that spin attack. In hopes of killing all the things and maybe even getting us. Ah! I did it, but way too late. Yay, I found the secret passage! <laughs> the secret passage was killing everything! Woo! I get a twizzle! Well, that dropped a heart. At least one. Arrows, what? That is a disappointment. Um, okay, I guess I'll just make a ton hammer. Everything, all the things, because you never know. Especially me, I never know anything. What? Oh, there we go. Hey, it's a switch. Is that seriously the right one? It might be. As weird as that sounds. Is it a rusty switch? No, it is not. Is there multiple switches? Is there switch eyes in this room? Well, so far the answer is no. The answer might change it to a yes. Hey, there's a treasure chest there. Was that there the whole time? Are you a sneaky sneak treasure chest? Sneaky sneaky. I got the key. I was about to say, if there's no exit out of all this room, that means we've come to a dead end. What do we do then? What? that I just blink? The eye switch, I swear, just... Oh, no, you know what? It was the the blue button there. See it flipping around? I totally saw that flip, and I totally thought it blinked. Whoa! There's fire there. Okay. Was that there the whole time? I don't even remember. What's that do? Oh. Oh, never mind! This isn't a dead end. Okay. Although, well... Let's go in here. I was going to say we should end off... You know what? Yeah! What is that thing? Navi, can you tell me? Of course not. You're useless. That is scary. Oh, God. Ah! Blind the eyes of the statue! No! I didn't want to actually jump on here! I didn't think... Uh, uh, uh. Well, then the mystique and curiosity have been completely defeated for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching! If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you're already. My name is Chris, and in the next episode, we'll finish off this mini temple thing. Goodbye!